Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, for the last session of today's Ken Dundalk program. It is in the topic, How to be a successful chartered accountant. And we have with us C.A. Nando, and I to present on the topic. And I request C.A. please to kindly come forward and present Floral Bokeh to our speaker and kindly welcome him onto the desk. Thank you. To briefly introduce, C. A. Nanu R. Malia is a graduate in commerce from St. Joseph College of Commerce of Bangalore University, qualified as standard accountant and commerce practiced in the year 1977. He is a senior partner of chartered accountant Malia and Malia at Bangalore. He was member of the Bangalore branch of ICA and was founder of the treasurer for the one year. And he was the convener for Bangalore branch building and director of management development programs committee. He has addressed many seminars all over India and conducted many orientation and GMCS programs for students of ICA over the many years. He was also the member of board of studies of ICA for two years. With this very brief introduction, I welcome to this seminar as a vote. Yes, sir. Clear? 
if you don't hear me, if I'm too fast, please let me know. It's more of an interaction because we are not done by good media. Give me a chance for good interaction. Okay. I want you to interact because uh, you're running chartered accountants, planning a career for the rest of your life. And therefore, to my mind, it's very, very critical. Because even I went to the same road that you're going through right now. I did my article ship from 1973 to 76. And I went to the same issues of, you know, stipend, leave, working hard. A uh, uh, hundred things that we still have in your mind when you do a three-year article ship, right? Then, then they came the day when you got a, your results and said you're a chartered accountant. And I, I'm sure you put up that uh, certificate of yours in a very prominent way, put in a frame, and you have done it? No? Not yet? Anybody done it? You have done it? Yeah. If you're not done it, please do it as quickly as possible. Yeah? Because something that you, have, you should be proud about and you mustn't display it. So, so I remember that time Bangalore was a very small branch and uh, we had to run to Chennai. I took a train and got to reserve the same with this and uh, we had to apply quickly as possible to get membership quickly as possible. So for every fix, that is 37, I got my membership certificate and it's been a long journey since then, 41 years. But you can imagine what was practiced then and what is practiced now. Okay. India was a sheltered economy. We didn't have investments abroad. Neither, nobody invested in India also. And there were at best one or two big side uh, family businesses, okay? But everything was government businesses. Uh, otherwise, if you were anything else, it was trading business. And everybody had to grab those little trading banks uh, <coughs> for getting the order. At the time, there were no audits, only so some filing, only legacy. The uh, tax audit coming past. And there were a lot of uh, privately with company, but they were extended sole proprietary concerns. That means it's limited company on record, but actually one person running or two persons running. And I think this many scenario is the same now as far as privately made companies are concerned. You must give credit to uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh when he first introduced uh, integration of Indian economy with the uh, the world economy. And the pace in the last 10 years has been amazing, mind boggling. So, what we thought is that we open the door that we will get ruled by the MNCs. The foreigners will come in, foreign consultants will come in, foreign uh, thing will get run over by them, and we will not have a practice. But if you look back and see, exactly the reverse has happened. That we open the door in the, in the door, others can come in, but we also can go out. So, the same door. And today, chartered accountants from India are doing exceedingly well in their profession. Because the opportunities here are fabulous. And I would like to compliment you, you all of you graduated and started your practice at the right time. So, you have been studying recently that how the Indian economy is uh, going so far, so big. Now we have seen, uh, let's say, this year we bet France in the highest GDP. I think we went to sixth place. Next year I think we are going to beat UK. So we are going to go to fifth place in terms of GDP. Okay. And in the next 10 to 15 years, it's going to be one of the top three. I think the competition is going to be between US, China and India. I don't know who is going to be number. And? China. China, yeah. And with it. We don't know who's going to be able to take number one in the next three years, we don't know, because our demographics in India is very strong. So that could, and demographics, I mean, they're in charge of the numbers, okay. Number, quality. So the people, qualified, okay, uh, skill set, knowledge set. So that's had that's the whole world looking at us in terms of economy, and especially for chartered accountants who are going to handle the big money. Now, if you look at, look at the newspaper, the figure that you look is mind boggling. Before you say 1,000, you say 1 lakh, some you say 1 crore. Now, nobody says 1 crore, they say 2 lakh crores, 50,000 crore, lakh, uh, 50,000 lakh crore. <laughs> Take out economic time to see business standard this morning, find it. So, how many, how many, zero the crore has, how much, uh, 50,000 crore has, and all that. How mind boggling. But that's good news for us. Because that's good business for us. Because now 
as you are youngsters, I know you, you know, just like Albert Kaufler said, future shock. Now, I don't know how many of us really implement the data analytics. Have we caught into it? Are you using that? The GST laws have been introduced for the last two years. I know much of it was beaten your uh, brains. Uh, and in this, yes. uh, and technology is this and that, hitting you at such a pace. So one of two things happen. One is a confident that you take it on, or get flooded by it, overwhelmed, get drowned. Okay, and I like the statement that the previous speaker made. He said, "Don't have a church. We don't have a church. So if you don't go to do uh, data analytics, you'll be washed out." So at the age of 65, I finished for one year. Right? I'm 65 now. I have attended seminars. So I have attended many seminars in the in the year two at least. <coughs> Not be an expert to understand what's happening in the world. Okay. So whether we can explain it or not. So we are in that situation, and when the uh, institute called me for uh, to talk on how to be a successful, how to be a successful chartered accountant. Okay. So I said I belong to the 1977 era, and they're talking to me about 2018. Do you think it's relevant? He said. Uh, I think so, you can, maybe you can share some idea, but as how you have sustained your practice between 1927 and 2018, among the changes that have taken place, okay? So, here, yeah, we'll just quickly go through with more of a discussion. I want you to ask me questions, okay? I'm not going to be a monologue and I'm just going to say something, because you totally belong to a different uh, era, 77 to now, 2018, because I can relate to my articles, I can relate to all the GMC students that have met the orientation. I can understand what's going in their mind, especially the ones who are recently qualified. Because you don't know what to do. What should I do? Am I doing the right thing? Am I missing out? Uh, do you think I should change? Why is everybody making good money but I'm not making money? Why is everybody traveling everywhere but I'm not traveling? Yeah. And there are many things that are happening, right? Especially getting influenced by Facebook. Okay. On the Facebook, you only see the good thing, but you don't hear all the hard work that went behind that. Okay? So that might be the, So I'm just going to raise some issues. So I want to ask you questions okay? as we go forward. How to be a successful challenge? The first thing that we need to look at is employment <coughs> or practice, right? Or are you only looking at practice? Only practice? You? Practice and or employment. I did one year employment and then left it inside. One year? Employment? Okay. Of course, you want to be in practice sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. Employment or practice? Two years. Two years in employment. Yeah. Employment for good? For good or you want to practice? As of now. As of now. Okay. What about you? Right now I'm doing practice. Okay. Yeah. Practice. Practice. I raised one year in employment. Okay. Okay. Two years in employment. Okay. Now in employment. Yeah? Now in employment. Alright, uh, now employment continue to be or want to be here, yeah. maybe change? Now in a dilemma. Okay, here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, employment, yeah. Okay. Employment. And future with planning with practice? Yes. Yeah. Be in practice with the. Oh, be in practice here? Yeah. Yeah. Employment. Employment. Like you need in practice? You're not in practice, right? Employment. Okay, good. So, we, so I. Uh, I didn't ask you the question earlier, so what should chat on for practice or for employment? So they would like to address uh, both issues, whether it's employment or otherwise, or employment and later practice. So this is a normal uh, trend. Third one also, right? We can yeah. Entrepreneur also. Sorry, entrepreneur? Third one also. We entrepreneurs? Okay. We'll do it in the question hour when we have it. Let me ask me about that, okay? Like your chat accounts, you've done family business, or maybe you start up with some, you start up with Let me talk about that. Yeah, correct. Okay, so we'll uh, talk a little about employment okay. first. And it's going to be mostly about practice, but we'll talk a little about employment. So some of you said you're employed, right? And then you say later we intend going to practice. And let me check and see if I got it right. I think most of you chose employment because you wanted money. Earning, income, am I right? Experience. That's fine reasons. 
prime reason. No money in the pocket. So we need some money. So returns are attractive. It will take a few years before we see money. Yeah. And therefore, let me get some money, put some bank balance, and start practice. Yeah. Okay. So basically, most of you actually want to get into practice. Am I getting it right? Yes? No? Yeah? Eventually. Not all of you. I've got a lot of good friends who have spent a whole life in the company and have done exceedingly well. Okay? They've just lot employment, they've grown in the company, become CFO, and they retired very well. So, both the choice are good. You want to get into organization, grow with the organization, or keep jumping organization until you get what you want in terms of satisfaction and money. So now, employment, uh, you have been in employment for some time, right? How many years? Four years. How many? Four years. Okay. So, how do you like employment? Because uh, we are some who just employed for one year, two years, uh, they are still debating whether to start practice or not. Right? So, how do you feel about your career? It was good. Because I'm first generation CA in my family. Okay. So I thought uh, employment is the best thing to start. Okay. So I, I progressed well. Okay. Then I started as junior manager, then okay. then I'm a controller now. Okay. Oh, controller of uh, which company? I'm engaged in. Okay, good. So you're getting job satisfaction? Yes. And sufficiently compensated yes. financially? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So we have a satisfied chat of accounting. We're going to do the job. And today, opportunities are fantastic. Companies are just, the number of companies that are being formed, <coughs> growing big, and they need not just one chartered account, they want many chartered accounts. And especially specialization. If you look at companies like uh, L, which is the uh, Tata, Tata Group, you know, the kind of divisions that are mind boggling. LD is mind boggling. Every company is now. Having a week of their specialized division has fantastic fee uh, valuation. So in HDFC, HDFC is a bank left over HDFC. Then we had AMC, HDFC Life, and I think now HDFC Security or something. But we're all division in the HDFC. Each one is specialized area. So some of my colleagues, my age, junior, have done exceedingly well. So, before we uh, get into the employment and what employment and practice, let's look at your position on work life balance because that's very critical. It's very critical for you to take a decision. Okay. Now I have been in practice for long, not as long as my senior. Uh, my senior is still practicing. And I say senior, I mean my principal. He's 90 year old and 66 years of practice. Mr. Echekarao, you know Echekarao? Echekarao, practice, 90 years and still practice. And this will be updated on all the latest changes. Uh, not that long, but for you, uh, not, not too short, but not too long either. But in uh, encountered various situations, and we a lot of friends come and chat with me. Look, I'm already 10 years into this, but just have to what should I do? I got a job, but I want to change. I got practice, but I don't have it. I don't make enough money to pay the expenses. My overheads are not even meet. Uh, how do I do that? You know, a lot of questions. What changes should I make? So they drop into my office and we have a chat. And, and I, put, I put in some words. Hopefully it should be useful. So since you are at this stage in age, I think if you take this into consideration first, before you take a decision, then it's good for you. Because this will finally end of the day what you want. Of course, you want money, you want a uh, good position, you want good esteem, but you still want, I know, am I spending enough time with my family? Uh, I'm a traveling, everybody now seems to be traveling everywhere. Okay. Uh, do you have money for travel? And what about education? I don't know, education getting very expensive. During my days when I was sent to Indian High School, in the school, you know where Indian High School is? Sent to Indian High School, next to Canterbury Stadium, Manya Hospital. My school fees were 5 rupees a month. Okay, so one whole year was uh, 550, uh, additional 50 for something, 100 rupees for the whole 
yeah, Indian High School. Uh, Central College of Commerce, anybody from Central College of Commerce here? Okay. 22 rupees a month, so 220 per year, plus or minus, maybe 400 bucks for other activity. So, but what is, what is it now? What is it now? I don't mind bombing, so I don't even ask those questions anymore. Uh, your kindergarten fees are gone up somewhere. Donations. Uh, have any clue what the donations are? You must be having a clue, right? Yeah. What kind of donations? Building funds. Yeah. Building donations. Building funds. Building fund donations. Yeah, but what, what fund are they? They collect donations for under three months, so how much is it? Five to six lakhs. Five to six lakhs? Per person. 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 Medical and all goes in gross. No, no, regular. I'm sorry, medical. Medical grows in gross. They're not medical. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about kindergarten. That means school kids, play school. 50k. Hmm? 50k. Okay. From 2 to 3 lakhs. Yeah, but it's free like per annum. So that's a lot of money. So people are getting a compensation. They're getting. Uh, you know, I will keep aside. First thing you save for your kindergarten. Right? Then you will pay a kid, managing a kid, not going to be inexpensive, you've got school fees and pick up and drop and books and this and kids today have become brand conscious. Yeah. <laughs> More brand conscious than yourself. So you give all the shoes and not thank you that time. No, I'm not going to school today. Give you know, a proper bag. Yeah, um, you know, all the fancy things that we carry, branded things, they have become more brand conscious than us. So they work cost a lot of money. So it's about family, you know. And that's what not a scenario goes there. People had five kids, six kids, they didn't bother, they went somewhere, went on the bicycle. Nobody used a bicycle in Bangalore. Bangalore is a bicycle city. I have worn a bicycle for 14 years. Exercise, no petrol cost, eco eco friendly. Okay. Healthy. <laughs> yeah. Healthy. Healthy. Okay. Put in here, so it's good. Uh, but today I don't ride a bike. Even if it can ride a bike today, it must be sport bike because I don't want to be seen going by bike to work. Not in a mobile, I want a motorcycle. Okay, I'm going to be a pulsar, 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 I'm going to be a pulsar. the new trend, the cost. But I'm curious, I'm 19 or 19 years old. You want a motorbike? Dad, I want a motorbike. I can't afford it, I can't even say that. So you buy it and give it to him, next thing you want petrol. Yeah. Then we go to a coffee day, Starbucks or something like that. A coffee, does she make coffee? 10 or 15 bucks, right? But they will go and spend 200 rupees on the coffee. If you've got a company, it means that's quite so much. So, it's a changing scenario because many of them come and talk about it to me and said, yes, yeah, this is. So we have to be careful. We have to be careful about planning. Exactly. We were not getting 10 years into a profession or 10 years into a job and say, oh my god, I think I made a mistake. So it's best to consider all this. Uh, friends, okay, we, today we have what we call the uh, social media. Like we have some friends on the uh, what call cyber world, but personally we don't meet people. We don't even meet our neighbors. Yeah, uh, don't even meet a schoolmate, a college mate or something. Can't help it because of traffic, time, constraints, a million things. But we cannot be totally detached. How much time do you spend with a neighbor? How much time do you spend with a fellow uh, old friend of mine say, hey, come on, let's meet for a coffee or something like that. Uh, hey, remember? Or your cousin, who used to travel in the area from before and stop traveling. So this is part of your holistic uh, living, okay? Friend and self, what about yourself? What about yourself? Do you have sufficient? I remember a few of my friends during the parliament blast. They were working in Delhi. They were working so hard for 18 to 19 hours a day. Uh, parliament were attacked by the right? Whole world knowing about the attack. But these guys are working for so long, they don't even know. And when they get up in the morning, they say, oh my god, what this happened next to us? So that means they go so entrenched into work. They Totally unaware of what's happening beyond the work because they have deadlines to meet, they have to finish the work, they have statutory things. Then I met one or two of them and said, Oh, I don't even see daylight. I get up in the morning, go by 6 o'clock, go by 8 o'clock. 
uh, used to come back at night and sleep so tired. Sunday, I get sometimes Sunday, I to see you, I need to go to the office. So then they have this dream. So I remember one, just one, maybe just one month ago, 10 years into practice, I had into a job. He said, I got a fantastic compensation, mind-boggling compensation, but I work for 10 years. But you see, I get up at 6 and come back at 9, 12 o'clock. I do that, I've been doing not one year, two years, three years, or ten years. So I quit practice. I mean, quit the job and started practice. But then I'm not able to meet the overage right now. So what do I do? So now you, now you, because it's ten years into practice. Yeah. Uh, I had a job, started practice. Yeah. So it's having difficulty setting up practice. But we also have a lot of chartered accountants who have been working for 10, 15 years, okay, who have uh, worked in company and quit company done a specialization in one or two areas and are doing exceedingly well as specialists. As specialists. They know what it's home. In one part of one part of their office, house, they made in the office, full press office. They read, they that, enter seminar, whatever they have to do, you do it to the give advice, then advice. <coughs> I know some of them are specialized purely in uh, business valuation, uh, lady chartered accountant. Specialized, sole proprietor, no worries. This I don't have any worries. I keep working, I take four business foundations per year, I make enough money, I'm comfortable, I don't have to worry about taking your junior and articles and nothing, I'm happy. Okay. And she kept the balance between our whole family. So we have two different examples. So therefore, uh, we have to see exactly what do you want out of life. Some people are very focused, they want money centric, they want money. Both uh, pesha mana nekata. They make dirty money, big money. Some may address the other issue or may not address the other issue. Some people, I'm an academician, so I love reading and we have extra, I have some charitable friends of mine who are working 14 to 16 hours a day. Go back home at night, late at night, come back early morning in the office. There's nothing else to do, I don't do anything else, but I love reading and giving advisory and I love to give opinions, etc. I read up there myself. So we have all kinds. So, you have to consider this before you get into uh, a, a choice. Employment. So employment I would certainly not recommend a small company. They will not be able to afford their skill sets and uh, And afford, afford to pay money to you. End of the day, money matters. We have to pay bills. Okay, so, and inflation beats you like hell. Today petrol is 80 bucks. Uh, so we can't say you go to bicycles, not possible. So tomorrow it will be good on bus, different. When I was I had a motorbike, petrol price was 95 paisa. I'm sure some of you must have been able to say it 80 but 30 or 40 years ago. 75 paisa, but today it's 80 bucks, that's 80 times more. So that means 80 to 80 times it how much? 64,000, 6,000 pounds is a little okay. So it could be using historical cost for uh, costing, uh, pricing. But then I'll be able to beat inflation. So we have to have uh, occupation, a job, uh, uh, so that we can earn in the future. Although inflation is going to beat us solid. You may uh, work hard and earn hard, but your income is not going to be enough to meet your future expenditure. Then we're going to lose out to the uh, inflation. So therefore, in employment, you have to look at big size companies or mid size companies. That's the decision you can make a conscious decision. Mid-size company, you can directly go and join a CFO, take the company forward, or be one or two members of the finance department and get sufficiently compensated, but also have some time for yourself. Big company, yes, is very demanding because the job is demanding, the statutory compliance is demanding, you have to go to share all the compliance, the, uh, that kind of meeting, invoice the banks. But packages are fantastic. So you might want to see the background of the company and how the Financial and account and work before you take a decision. Fine, meets all your purposes, then fine. Compensation, I know some of them are retired at 45, 50, and I said, you made enough money, so now I want to do specialized practice. That's also fine. Yeah? So now I'm getting into now practice. What is your definition of <coughs> a successful practice? Partner of a big size firm? Partner of a mid size firm? Partner of small size firm, sole proprietor, size of top line of your firm or your practice, uh, quantum of net share of profit, 
higher and deep knowledge and specializing in one subject, general practice and infrastructure, functional knowledge, practice management and others. So that's a lot of choice in front of you. But you have to take a position. You have to take a position. Okay. <coughs> so uh, I know many many of them aspect data, I just love reading. I'm sitting in my chamber, I got a good practice, I don't have time to spend money, my bank's full because they are so busy. They uh, don't even have time to respond to the client, but they said, I mean, opinion, they charge a big amount, the client paid because it's beautiful, it held them, them in court of law, and they put excellent money, but he's not looking at money, he's looking at his satisfaction for doing high quality reading and advisory. So that's something that some people love it. Uh, Mid-size firm, we have uh, a small size form. Now, what's the definition? Is, I won't get into the definition more, but we are not different what's a small size form or a big size form, mid size form. Okay? If you ask me, my little over a small size form, uh, I would say just the beginning of a mid size, and may apply in the next five years to become a full fledged mid size form, say the next five years of time. Okay? So, you all would take a call. We have lots of practice charting and two, three partners together who have started a practice, and we don't specialize in one or two areas. They're doing general work and general work plus one of, uh, one of them specialized in direct taxes in direct taxes company law and all this. So they work as a team. I have a handful of articles, five ten people, but they're quite happy. They don't be earning sufficiently, we got enough time, they're spending time with the family, they're fine. A similar thing can happen in a uh, mid sized farm, but it will be a little more demanding. So uh, you have to you have to decide, you start now, you start small, you can mid size, you can decide. A uh, big size form got an uh, advantage and I have to say just size of a bit reputed brand and later you take one take up job, then you can uh, use that as a brand for you to get good quality jobs, yeah. But let's face it, big size forms are demanding in terms of work, in terms of work, because the clients that they have are very, very demanding, they pay good fees, but they expect everything uh, up to date and can be liable to be sued or whatever. Quantum of energy, how much profit do you want? That's the question. How much do you want to take home? Any idea of that? I mean, don't give me figures. It's all a personal figure. Okay, so I don't need to say it to anybody. You want lots of income, some income that makes your, makes your life comfortable. Uh, or what? That's a clue. Don't give me figures. Always earning. Yeah? Always earning. Okay. What about you? Any, any figures say? Lots of money, little money, some money? More money? Okay. <laughs> yeah? What about you? Some money, big money, little money? Some. Okay. Yeah? Okay. What about you? You don't have employment, right? So, you have employment, you would like big money, some money, little money? Yeah. <laughs> Very delicate question, uh, question and delicate to answer. Because money is a very big question mark. What is good money or not good money is a big question mark. That, for that, we need to put our perspective in place. Okay? Other people is not. Other people's opinion is not. What they say is not. Right? Uh, you have to take a call. How much I want to earn, how much I want to save, what kind of life I want to give to my children, or life I want to give to my wife, what kind of life I want. Then you can put a a benchmark for yourself. And you said, okay, I think I'm fit for, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. I'm much more money, good money. <laughs> take care of my savings, take care of my insurance, take care of my home, take care of my wife, take care of my kids, a decent education, <laughs> and also planning for time for future. So that is something that you have to put your thought on. Okay. General practice and functional knowledge, practicing manager, I don't know. If you ask me, I come within the last year. I, I am more into uh, general practice with functional knowledge and practicing management. So I am not a specialist. I think it's very clear. And at a position, I took, when I took my practice, because I don't like reading books, income tax book, accountancy books, uh, the law, the section, the there, the amendment, the circular, the oh, oh. But some people just love it. It's very personal. Okay? <laughs> Yeah, some people just love it. It's fine. There are a lot of people. I've got nerdy friends who that love it. We can wake up and sleep and then watch section two and never does that. That's law, this law, this law, connected to this law. 
like that kind of thing. They put in a case for us. One time at a tribunal, like, I was uh, from a very different case, and it was almost given up. I told not let me go and represent. But I said, I don't have that knowledge, but I don't, that particular thing, I will, only collection, you won't get it. You won't get relief at tribunal. I said, let's try, nothing wrong, you try it, right? So when I tried this, and I said, and the judge almost dismissed it. Then I put forth an argument. Then they stopped for a moment, and I knew the question mark under them. But at least give me a, a please see them. The judge said. Case law? I, I can do it, I don't know. And luckily, uh, on the Chattery Ground, I'm going to be a He encountered <coughs> He said, loudly enough, the judge could hear that case law. Look at the case law, and they allowed it. No, but I, if I had, that friend was not there, but he's not supposed to, but he whispered so loudly, the judge heard it. <laughs> so, because that case law, the judge allowed it. But then I know, if I had been on my own, well, the concept was good, my argument was good, but I didn't have any support. The next morning, we go, took the case law and gave him the copy and said, that on this basis, I allowed it. Okay, but I know that I can't do deep reading, and I, within one hour, I sleep off, if I need which is not a good thing to say. But then I'm fine on concepts. So I spoken on concepts. And if I, why did we have an organization? We have actually only three partners, a little more than sponsor. But we have a 40 uh, articles and assistants. <laughs> we empower them, it's okay. But make, I'll make a presentation two days and can get me all the information. But they have to go on and give me all the information. Ready. The client meeting is on Monday. So they've been working up two days, Monday I studied, half an hour I'm there for me. And I make sure I take to go along. And, uh, <laughs> and when I say something, which one does? Yeah, they have a limited to that. That's all my purpose. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So there, I'm a general practice with functional knowledge, practicing manager. So I think I can still continue my practice on my uh, daily work. Okay. So uh, you decide what you want. So I decided to do that. What is a healthy practice? Now this is where I think the whole emphasis is. Especially if you get into practice. And of course there are to adjust the issue of some of you getting into employment. Yeah? It's good that you got into employment, you're getting some income because I can understand. Because we are all most chartered accounts, 90, in my observation, 95% of chartered accountants uh, are from middle class families. Now I know why they <coughs> fight so much for stipend. Because they left the homes, they don't have money to pay, the bus charge is so expensive, the room rent is so expensive, the food is so expensive, everything is so expensive. Therefore, when they say you want to pay 5,000, 10,000 bucks stipend, they say not enough. Understandable. And they want to come for family, families can't support them, they need money to stay, uh, live. So therefore, they grab a job first, which is absolutely normal. So, but we need money, yes. So until the point, okay, I think I got some money, now I think I'm taking the price. But at this point, what you'll have to consider is that one or two years or three years that you're getting in, don't miss out on the education knowledge that you invested in the three-year course. That's very, very critical. Because if you're going to jump, shift, I mean, you're going to jump from practice into a personal job, into a practice, we need skill set. Because in the practice, we are on our own. And we have enough competition, not just from chartered accounting, <coughs> from other professionals. Somebody is good at that. one tenth of price. What do I advise you give? Now, with internet based, you can do your own application, 90% of that. I remember one of my friends was just price, started like uh, practice, he said, I put what uh, job you think for 25,000. I in cooperation of LLP, and I said 25,000 rupees. And the client called me and I'm getting it on online for 5,000 rupees. Why is that? It's a way to practice. <laughs> Am I right? No, no. Uh, you want to share something then? Yeah. yeah. Could you share something? Because, uh, yeah. Same, same thing happens. Yeah, same thing. You said you were in practice, right? Yes. Yeah. Your code of people tells you, no, 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 no application on there, 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 everything is so easy on the internet. It's good, but also not good for us, for practice. Okay? But then, that should not beat us. So, there's huge competition. We have to accept that before we get into practice. 
If we don't accept it, then, then we can only cry over it later. I can't sustain it. It's over it. Can I can't complain over it. Today, 50% of revenue goes in overheads. And balance 50%, 30% go in taxes. So, what we, what we can draw home, a partner, is 35% of gross revenue. But we have no choice. Right? Moment you reduce overhead, your income also drops. For the money. Yeah, so, first thing that partner and we say, first thing, person we have to pay is government of India. So, you have income tax, TDF, what do you call advanced tax. Then you talk about anything else. Then you can pay, then pay the landlord, including through your hand bank. Third, pay the salaries and stipends. Fourth, pay other overheads. And look at the end of the month, every money will be dropped. Yeah, but luckily we do uh, projections, one year projection, a small budget, but we know it's what will estimate the income, uh, existing income, or business will lose, every year we lose business. Every year we get new business. So it's now part, if you lost a client, don't bother, let it go. You get new business. And sometimes it's good to lose old clients. Yeah, so don't get too attached, too sentimental to your client. I used to be attached because long years of practice, no? But I have to get paid off 1977. And I have to appreciate for 20% in the last 40 years. But a new client will pay me 3 to 4 times as much. I have been loyal to you. That's my client said. When I sent him a sacking letter, I had to discuss and they don't raise it. I said, sorry, next year you can't handle it. We have been with you for 30 years. So what do you, what do you answer to that? What do you answer to that? I have been with you for 30 years, throwing me out. So what is your answer to that? Yeah, because in practice, the same thing in an encounter. Because originally, they've been with you for 20 years, 10 years, you say, I want to throw you out. Yeah, what would be your answer? Tell about our overheads and all. Yeah, and you won't understand that. You have to understand. End of the day, the businessman, no. From 10, like 100 to 12, you can't, I can't pay you 30 pounds a piece. So, what do you say? I am loyal to you, I am throwing you out. I said, you are loyal to me because I am keeping you 12 pounds a piece. Be loyal to me at 30 pounds a piece. Let's get the case across. And this was told my junior most partner who entered my profession as a partner. Now, you know, now you are in first name, sir. You talk to me in first name, you don't disturb this time or anybody else. So now, you are saying you are loyal to me for 30 years. Try to raise a piece. Unless you who is loyal to whom. You kept it low and they were there. And you raised it by 2 or 3 thousand rupees. They left you. So who is loyal? Pure. You understand? So now, the days of sentiments are gone. They said, my neighbor is doing for, you know, after 10 to 12, my neighbor is doing for 6. Yeah? So what do you do? Still hang on to the client? No. Let's, let's get the, let's get the funders right. No, no, you can't meet the audience. Yeah? So, <coughs> Uh, yeah, in this, in terms of clients, okay. So we have to now move into a, a new domain, and you will be understood this. Uh, speaker's name, I don't know, maybe first time today. What's his name? Yeah, yeah. So he, Elango, no, Nasimani. Nasimani, right? Okay. So he beautifully said that the data analytics. I can steal the pinch already. I'm not going to, if I don't get into data in one year, I'll be out of my business. I'll be out. I want to start last year, started. We failed in that uh, software and we are back to square one. And the next one year, I'm, I said, I'm personally taking charge of uh, automation at these that days. Small firm. It's not a size of a firm. It is how quickly you respond. How, how much data you have for analysis. Audits, uh, audits, the number of audits, what about the report, what about the quality check, a million things are there. So we need to go into a domain, a client who is willing to pay you that extra for the bureau service that you do. You have to move in from purely, let's say, statute based work to market driven work. And this is the matter for all of us for the future. Because we are saying we get this audit, tax audit, company audit, this. We lived in that property here and we couldn't grow much. And 2007, I said, I think we are tired. Second time. Second time. So, we 
for me, I was 55 then. I said, what are we going to do? Inflation better, client didn't pay good fees, over it go up. What about your take home? Then I took a concentration of your partner said, look, we can see the end of the road if you don't change. And we changed, we said, look, high old clients, the ones who are going to raise the income, uh, revenue to all the expectation, fine, okay? And if they don't let them go, we get a new client. And we took a vigorous, but a vigorous pay in the last 10 years. So what we did, you know, the healthy practice, that's why I use the word healthy practice. And this is what you have to invest for some throughout your life. So now if you look at a technical skill, earlier technical skill, if you're looking at a sole proprietor, like I said, one good person doing only four, and a lady she is doing a full business plan per year, it's selling uh, good money. She does exceedingly well. And she does get help. And we are associate, you know, we have some business plan to remain, we associate with her, we talk to client, we share, and she shares. Okay, so she does. She said, they kind of change it, you want one more explain. So go back and can we call the kind of changes and we have to listen to the client. He said, no, but let's figure it out. Okay, this is not okay, this is not okay. Okay, and then make, I'll come back in 10 days' time, make those changes. Okay, this product is not a good deal, and then the new product will come in. She comes back to make changes. The whole thing takes three to six months. But she is good. She works on it. And when she comes to the presentation, she makes a presentation on our behalf. And her uh, number perfectly meet what the requirement in the market. So she's good, she's not job. So proprietor, then you don't have to worry about all this. But if you want to be a functional or IT manager, a healthy practice, you must start investing today. And this is what I want to give advice to my age. Okay? Technical skills are good. Okay? But if you want to build a good practice, uh, along with other partner, then you have to take all this into consideration. Client servicing, two top priorities. Quality. You can't afford to make a mistake today. Almost next to impossible to make a mistake today. You can't even delay return by one, one day. Okay? <laughs> Digital, right? One day delay will automatically you will notice coming. So what if you can give a client? Okay. Quality is not everything. If you have not quite a property, you will know the letter from the department. Am I right? Three years, okay. my client made some mistake and that came next day, prompted next day. My own account came next day, I worked So I would go and say, what is it? It's there, but I was. It's in dimension number three, then they hold it from. That's my problem. Okay. So now, income tax is super power and data analysis now. They got everybody's data. So, what can you do? We have to become zero defect. So, quality and time sensitivity. Today, time sensitivity. ETDR, or the GST, return filing, company law filing, the government has made all changes dangerous for us. Whether it's the director or whether it's the employee or officers or other the company. Right? Prosecution and death and that, penalties and all things. Delegation, ah, this is one weak area of most practice in general. Because today we are articles were very bubbly. But very, uh, let's say, like material, they, they leave, they, they want to leave for exam, they want to leave the job, they want to hire a staff and they go for classes, they do this, a million things. Handling them is a bigger issue than audit. Do you have any problem with the article or you're doing fine? Are you okay? Uh, or you're on the job, right? Um, Anybody in practice? Even the examination is also there. Oh! No one All of them go together. I can see those two of my, two of my partners working so hard. They are waiting for the sun to sunrise when the articles come back from examination. Suddenly, mm -hmm. so 35, 25 would have gone away. And we have regular audits. I mean, uh, concurrent audits, uh, uh, internal audits, and verification, and everything. Internal filing. And they are putting us 20 hours. So we are coming with various kind of clauses. Even let us know one in advance. Then you can have a discussion or other, and we are introducing what we call the reward system. If you don't take it down this time, you get the reward points. <laughs> Which you can encourage you for some other time. Then. Yeah, so we have to do this, that's what they want. To attend a seminar like this, I think they are doing one. Types of seminars are going on today and tomorrow. Today, today. But well, articles are nominated. We have a big budget for 
nominating articles. And in Pala, that is no more. Oh, I believe. Today, I see only a camera. No, I got million things to do. Million things everybody has to do. Million things everybody has to do. But then, how are you going to be relevant to the time? The question. So, I said, right, after, if you are going to a seminar, you will be disqualified if you don't have an uh, article with you. How do you like that? That means you have to take my article along. And we want to partner with one more, but the gap between partner and article widened so much. Then by the time trying to explain to me, your name is gone. When you come to audit, you don't even understand what rubbish you have done. But at least sending out something, 5%, 10%, at least you know what the, uh, the form looks like, what the section says, at least something. So at least the quality is good that much. So we got reward system if you attend the seminar. Not only you spend for it. Reward, but what do you do? They are not talents. We need them. We can do all the work. Yeah? Ethics. Delicate and empowerment. Empower your talent. Make them as good as the chapter can within the first year. That means that the next two years will be useful to you. Don't wait for the second and third year. In the first year, they'll bring it up. But you have to invest time on that, money on that. So we have also a review on the TVW. Technical training workshop. That means every Saturday for half a day. Work for every meeting, a half day at TTW. TTW is technical training workshop, WRM is work for every meeting. What happened last week, what will happen next week. Okay, so this was some kind of control I mean, exercise, but a long way to go. Ethics, I think, I don't have to spend much about it. If it's good, it will go to hold you good steam for the rest of your lifetime. Admin, privacy member, do you still fill up? Your articles form. Right. Article registration and exit form. Chart account spend a lot of time on that, right? Somebody does it. The article itself. You know, good chance you can put the figure also. <laughs> Number of days. <laughs> yeah. Take care. Leave. Who signs and leave? Very time sanction. Marriage in the family. Multiple is sick in So, who handled that? It's not your practical time. Why you waste your time? We all have technical knowledge. You have that time. But we are, two, three hours going into the last talk. No reading, no upgrades, no application. So, I told my partner, put a, that's why the order is the high. And my partner registered, oh, you're spending on the admin. I said, that's the reason you are smart. That's the you are smart. Otherwise, you'll be doing filling up form, leave, this, that, that. That's a clerical job. It's a clerical job. Why do you clerical job? Tell her not meant for that. Good thing. Bigger thing, right? Talent management, full, full time job. Robust processes. If I look, I know how many damages you have done in our professional life. Because process or not. So now I go and inspect every file and process it there or not. And I know <laughs> and my partner I know that's why you go up and I'm both of them. Because the moment turned up it dropped the process. And it dropped process damage control to ten times more. No fee for that, time. Unpleasant, plan, fire you. Whew. So we have made four case studies of four major damages. I said, anybody going to get anywhere close to that, you're going to get trouble. I don't care if you make a technical mistake, but I care if you make a process mistake. And then we have different design processes. How do you do a type of attack audit? And what are the checklists you must have? How much you have? Because one client, one particular case, the officer was uh, upset with the client, the client was assessment. Sometimes we get the option to go to assessment to the client. But then he took on stupid accountant, stupid manager, not a good interpersonal skill guy. Accountants are good, stupid you know, mean, he didn't know what to say. And he said something wrong, and uh, the officer got cheesed up. By mistake, what had happened, one of our articles, I got about Another 10 minutes more, right? It was a long day, but let me finish the whole process. I want therefore to finish this thing. <coughs> Nothing more beyond that. 
Okay, so you have forgotten to file that export uh, certificate. I don't know what the certificate is. You get 100 percent exemption, section 80 HH or something, something. But ex you know, 100 percent uh, what do you call export? That means there's no tax on export business. When you recently uh, HSC, I think, HSC. I don't know, I don't know. I'm very poor with section, but I know what it is. So, yeah? SCZ. What? SCZ. EOU. No, I didn't get what it is. SCZ. SCZ? No, not SCZ. It's a regular manufacturer in Bangalore, but all the product goes abroad. EOU. Medical equipment. EOU. Not in EOU. Then, like, only this year I think they amended. This year or last year they amended. And they have 100 months exemption. And that certificate is supposed to accompany the return of income or whatever the audit report. The certificate article, what is there? In a hurry, you have put last year's figure. Certificate is there. So when you took a computer, you have to replace it with new figure and you put the old figure. And uh, it's not a major mistake. Normally, if you tell the officer, it's a clerical mistake. Certificate is filed, but the figure is a mistake that happened, but they give a new certificate. And this officer is so cheesed up. No, no. Wrong certificate. I'm going to book, uh, tax the whole income first. Second, I'm going to complete the institute for new non And I told my partner, process. Did you bother to see very well, I think? And this guy is holding a um, tax. And the client said, they're going to sell you a house to get our taxes. And in third year, they attached the property, all the bank accounts, he did it. Then I had to personally intervene and go for the tribunal, uh, CAKP's case. Luckily, it was allowed. But for the two years, that was what of the Michaels, hanging in their head. Luckily, the officer was a lady from Delhi. She was in a hurry, she was there. And I said, she had a lot of written submission by her and written submission by her. And I went for the case. I asked her, oh my God, you want someone to written submission? I don't have time, I'm just going to take and see. And take it on three months. But I know my client is screaming out there, all these bank attached and properties attached. I said, just two pages, five minutes. Take it up. You can take it to one. Are you sure five minutes? Said, yes. I said, look, keep aside all the letters of vision. Even earlier, you have given now. Here is only one simple thing. There is a wrong certificate, clerical mistake. We brought in notice of the officer. We said, if you leave this record, the correct certificate, he refused to give it. We filed it in the chapal before the end of the day. He passed the order and after the end of the day. I got the books, I got a statement, I got everything that you want to prove that it's a 100% export. So for a clerical mistake, you can't name a client. And the officer had done only one mistake. He said, you should have accepted or rejected the letter. But he had not taken cognizance of the letter. Or not taken cognizance? No. Case allowed. You see how data go? If you are given good cognizance and you said, I read the letter but I don't accept it, then my data will go through. Trip it on I thought. But since you made that means mistake, there we are. But then I put up a pattern. Now you know what I mean? Process? It's not technical knowledge, it's technical everything on perfect. What a missed out of that. So this is robust closer. Spend time, spend 50% of time on that. Double check the candidate. If you do a, like a partner check, you don't have a partner, senior check. Many times a lot of things put up. Technical training, continuous. Continuous. How much EPA credit? Uh, Institute requires 33 hours. 30? 33 hours. To my mind, at least 250 hours. Not because it's 93, because it's So we put 300 hours, I'm going to attend 300 hours, say that. Tell you that I'm going to go 300 hours. How much will it cost? Where will it is? Because we need to be updated. And we need to spend time on that for technical upgrades. Soft skills. Now, how many of you said attended GMCS? One, two, three, four, five, six. Some of you attended my session, right? Yeah, I'm so happy to do that. We introduced, uh, introduced, introduced the GMCS. There's a need, a big need. 
If my question is how many of us are going to implement it in our office request? Yes, yeah, it's a, to my mind, that's the difference between a success of life and not success of life. Because we get along with the person, the team, the leadership, a million things. And only when you look at the team, that you can do it. Okay, that I would say is a healthy practice. And if you can start it now, it looks very difficult. <coughs> it looks very difficult initially, then it becomes a practice. Once it becomes a practice, it becomes automatic. Once it becomes automatic, everybody does that. No, without ch checking it, because the mechanism of the report uh, automatically make that up on the field. Quality work, quality time for oh, yes. Sunday you go to sleep, night sleep. You want to come back to work. Go back home at 6 o'clock. 6.30, go to work. Go to sleep, you got everything okay. Right. And it's worth it, worth it. And long term, it pays. This is what I believe. Long term, the client realized it. This is the real equipment. Hardly any error in life. And I can go for a raise. Thank you very much. Yeah. Any questions now before I close up? Yep. I'm done. Any questions? Any clarification you want? More for that. Yeah? Okay, uh, I don't know, yeah, okay, in the formality, yeah, you have a question, yeah. So this is a kind of a basic question. I'd like to know how in your firm you are handling the question which clients normally ask that if you are charging so much for this, why should I go for you when I can get the same thing done with somebody else? How do you handle that question? Analysis, analysis, okay. We are still not going to do time uh, analysis with the client. So what we are doing today, you're looking at, see, we need, this is a bunch of company. You know, I remember that. Uh, tell me when to stop, I stop, okay? Because I know I have time, but if you want me to stop all here, I'm fine. Also, right? Yeah, because time, I'm very conscious about time. Your time, <laughs> more than mine. I'll go for a walk after this, so the big privilege. But you may be a lot of company older here. So let me know when I to stop. Yeah, see, now, that, that analysis is quite challenging, okay? So, but we go by the number rule that is concerned. But we are getting into more of a value based services. Now, what he mentioned is we found a mistake, say 25 crores or 25 to 25 percent, that we saved. Okay? Even if we have 1 percent of that, I am not a good person, I am not putting in a value. Yeah, if the company got 6 crores or rupees, Saving in transport power, you jolly well might say, I've got your saving for this life, I've got a good system of processor, I've got your, yes, I'm going to charge you this much. You, you'll have to be a certain, a nice, pleasant man. I remember one audit assignment, we got a new assignment. Uh, only to do top verification of 26 locations in India. A small C and a patients. They are, they are a manufacturing company, but they have 26 C and a patients all over India. So I told my partner that you can go each up, you go in the district, you want to do it one time, you come back and give me the top one report. So now we fix the XP for that. You know how much can it be per unit, 10,000 or 15,000, 20,000, but that. And the last two audit, I went with my partner. So they were doing consultation, I said, last two audit, I'll come. So they promptly did a beautiful report. Right? But I did an external analysis. I said, I identified 15 reasons why they are making so all these losses. Transit law, no insurance, no proper storage, and I gave a format. I said, if they audit on the quarterly, at respect to CAA, you don't have to spend transportation or cost of India, yeah, they'll do it. And they have a mandatory format that they have to fill up. If the fire, what if I assume you say, okay, I'm going to be to fire, they can put it off. There's no fire, it's not working. Insurance not taken, accident, loss. Uh, the way they store the wood is a pharmaceutical company, damage, unhygienic, <coughs> damage, and it could lead to diseases. Million. 15 analysis, and many percent, I said, our reports are there, but would you like to have some analysis? I'll give you 10 minutes presentation. So 10 minutes, I made a presentation, and just look at it. Look at the storage, look at the storage, look at it. And uh, this is I put it to the bank, but you know, I have to put it in statement. Tomorrow you can, somebody could take the goods away and you'll be in trouble. Fifteen different points. The client saw value, 
And then they said, you know, can you recall this? Could you say yes or no? So, audit plus that, extra piece. That's a good piece. So now we are getting a value base. So, time base is for regular function, but you have to be conscious about it. But that, right now we don't assess big audit that we need to go too much, we know quickly that it's enough. Uh, actually, an Australian friend of mine, he said, there are three kind of businesses, a three levels of business in every business. And I'm looking at it, it is a beautiful mantra. He said, everybody doing farm, 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 farm. Farm, farm, what does farmer do? Because uh, uh, finally he gets some rice, he gets paddy, he gets, gets some money, which is not very big money. But at least he takes care of, his, you know, food. So next level of service that you must give, it must be chip chip. What are the higher values than farming is going chipping, being a carpenter, doing this, that, right? and get a higher value to earn more in the farm. So in your form, just see what is a farm farm work. So I look at the farm farm work, we give you some money on feed, buying. Then you see what is a chip chip work. Uh, chip chip work is that little more feed than the farm farm work. And you analyze that and see how much that is. And then you said, this is constant. You know, that must take care of your overhead and this. But where do you make a money is the question. And if I get a question from Australia, I just came to for it. Now, would you like to have a presentation? I can see a lot of uh, articles are there. So I have to come, you know, meeting, we have a meeting there, I have to come and speak for one hour. But your money lies elsewhere. Grab, grab. He said, once you know a big opportunity comes. He said, rice, wheat, and vegetable. But when you get a meat, from well, non vegetarian, okay? When you get a big meat, the good food, big meat. It's called grab grab. He said, you don't know, when you're doing this, suddenly you find one or two clients coming into the That time you must be very alert. You must be very alert. Grab. He said, this is what happens to your company. This is what you need to do. There's a change that is happening. But if you go there, it's just going to happen. And if you want us, we can do it for you. Yeah, sure. Right. So you have to wait that way. So see what kind of work you're doing. Pump up, chip chip, grab grab. Yeah, that's how you go. So when you grab grab, you hold any finger as the traffic can bear. You know, in transportation as the traffic can bear. Plant it in, hold a unimaginable astronomical feet. So you are not going to do anything, it's a grab grab. But if you grab it, you're good. That means, oh, you are the Okay, half of that, okay, come. You don't have to say negotiate that. Because he sees value. If you're seeing a 25% value, 6 crore, you can quote that, no? You can leave all this thing out. That I don't analyze too much. Throw a figure. And that, why I'm saying this, you're bringing value, but you're starting to buy that. Today, people want value. And that's why you get into more from touch stream and get into value based services. Yeah? Okay, any other question? Yeah? Okay, dear. Yes, I'm done. Thank you very much for spending this last session, which is a very really Actually, I attend many seminars. I know how difficult the last session is. Your mind is totally, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, what do you call uh, Heavy fatigue state, too much of number crunching in there and all things. Go back up today. It's a Saturday night. Relax. Okay? Tomorrow, Sunday, don't work. On behalf of Bandy Branch and all the uh, members present here, sir, we would like to thank you for your excellent presentation. Huge round of applause, ladies. So, we'd like to present a moment too, uh, as a token of appreciation. Even though it's very less numbers, you made it very interesting, sir. And, uh, <laughs> thank you.